of the week life. So addicted when you freak of the week life. So addicted when you break, 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 I'm in love with you, girl. Oh, yeah. da, da, do that dance, do that dance. Time to get into this mix, man. Let's turn up. Turn up. Shout out to the DJ. James D. On the all new Jamie 95.7. Today's hip hop and R&B. This is Dr. Drake in the mix with James D. Check it out. I started DJing when I was about 13 years old. I was in the seventh grade, I was in junior high school, and uh, my sister had this old beat up turntable, and I had a best friend live across the street from me. He had this uh, old turntable too, so we put them together, and we just made some kind of mixer with them, and then we just started DJing with the two turntables. And as far as my influences back in the day, DJ Jazzy Jeff from DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, and the Fresh Prince of, of course is now Will Smith. Um, and DJ Joe Cooley from Los Angeles. He was on a radio station back in the day called AM Stereo 1580KDAY. Those two were my biggest influences back in the day as far as DJing. I would say DJing impacted my life by, it definitely kept me out of trouble because I was always in the house practicing. I would wake up, I would get on the turntables. Before I go to sleep, I'll be on the turntables. And it, it really kept me focused and um, kept me out of the streets, kept me out of trouble. I got into radio, I met uh, one of the Z90 Mix Masters um, I met him at Moose McGillicuddy at PV a long time ago. I asked him if they had any openings, and uh, he told me to make him a, a cassette tape, which I did. I made a mixtape, and I sent it in, and he, I guess he liked it, because he, he called me back a couple weeks later, and um, he invited me down to the radio station to, to watch, I thought to watch him, but he actually wanted me to actually start mixing that night. So when I showed up, um, you know, I watched him a little bit, and he gave me two records. It was, I don't know if you know, Paperboy Diddy from back in the day. He gave me two, the instrumental and the, the vocal. I put them on the turntables, I started mixing and um, everything turned out good. I, the mixes were clean and he liked me so he hired me to be a Z90 mix master. Well, there have been a lot of artists that came by Z90 back in the day, but um, some of my favorites, one would be Notorious B.I.G. Yo, check it out, it's the Notorious B.I.G. AKA Biggie Smalls, lands with James D, baby. Craig Mack came by the radio station, recently passed away. Uh, TLC, Eminem. I'm Eminem, okay? And right now, I'm in the mix with the world famous James D, dude, okay? No, you're not listening, dude. Hi, my name is... Tupac. Uh, probably, but my favorite artist to come by, because I was a big Public Enemy fan back in the day. That was my favorite group in the 80s, Public Enemy. So, Chuck D, Flavor Flav, came by the radio station one day. Yo, check this out. This is Chuck D. And this is Flavor Flay. Yo, check this out. When we rolling down in San Diego town, yo, we check it out. James D. Got pictures with them, everything. It was really, really great. That was probably uh, Public Enemy. I said it might be my favorite artist that came by to visit me at the station. Uh, some of the highlights, I, I guess, would be, you know, you get to DJing clubs, and I just love playing music for people, making them dance. Um, I, I did a gig at the sports arena one time, there's thousands of people there for a Z90 concert. But probably the, the biggest thing that have, has come out of me playing, you know, being a DJ at the radio station was uh, meeting your mom, because if I would have never met your mom, you wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> James from the club street. <laughs> Yo. Bust the rhymes, flip mode, squad, live and direct, represent with my man James D. Yo, what's up? This is Ron. Yo, what's happening? This is DMC in the place to be, and you're in the mix with James D. 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 Let's move to the next 
next level.